Thanks so much, Frank, for uh, taking the time to meet with me. I really appreciate it. I know we talked about my role on the phone and that, you know, I'd have to come talk to you and really find out more about uh, the reason why we got the call. So maybe just generally you can tell me about how things are going. How things are going where? Like for me? I mean, I I'd like to be back home. I mean, that's for sure. But, you know, I, I miss my wife. I miss my kids, for sure. Well, I, how do you think your relationship is with them now? I, I'm trying to be there. I'm trying to be there every day to, you know, Maggie, Maggie doesn't get home from work. They're, they've been home from school for a couple of hours, so I try to be there for them at least then. You know, I'm doing everything I can do to try to find work now. Um, I, I'm doing what I can, you know, I, I love I love my kids. Mm -hmm. So that's good, that's great. And it seems like, you know, they have some good times with you and they've had some good times in the past. How is it going in terms of looking for a job? I know. <laughs> when we talked on the phone, it sounds like you're having some issues. Issues. <laughs> it's a nice way to put it. Yeah. I wish. I, it's hard. It's hard. There, there's, there's literally nothing in my field. There's literally nothing in my field. So I just keep looking. I just keep trying to find something, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It sounds difficult. It sounds like it's been a long time for you and I'm sure it's been a lot of work. Time. Almost three years, I guess. Yeah. What about when you were with your wife and you were living together? Mm -hmm. How was your relationship then? I mean, Maggie and I are a great team. We're, you know, I, I think things were going really well. You know, I. I could provide for my family. The the kids were happy. The she was happy. I, you know, I thought we had a really good thing going on. Mm -hmm. I hope we can get back there one day. What do you think happened between you two? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Losing my job like that. Kind of kicked my ass, you mm -hmm. know. I, it just it became so difficult after that. Like, I, not knowing where any money was coming from, not not being able to do the stuff that I wanted to do with the kids, and you know. So it sounds like there's a lot of you know difficult times, obviously since you lost your job, um, but. Can you tell me specifically about, you know, a few days ago um, when you were at the house with your kids and your ex-wife? Um, can you tell me about what happened? Ex-wife? She's still my wife. We're, we're not divorced. We're... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't, um, it's just something going on that I don't know about. I wasn't clear. So I'm sorry. Um, so with Margaret, it sounds like you were at the home, you know, not that long ago, and perhaps there was an incident. Maybe your daughter saw the incident. Can you tell me about what happened? We, we argued about the same stuff that we ever argue about. She, I'm not saying this to blame her, but she kind of got in my face and I just kind of pushed her back so that we weren't right on top of each other. It, it felt really uncomfortable. So I didn't, you know, why, what did, what did you hear? What did, what was said? Well, like I said, um, on the phone, we can't really talk specifically about where or who we got the call from, right? We know that it sounds like there was an incident and possibly you know, one or both of your kids might have witnessed it. When you say incident, I, like, I don't know what that means. 
Well, that's really what I'm here, you know, to find out. Okay. So it sounds like there was an incident of violence with, you know, between you. I would never be violent with my wife, my kids. I, I'm not that kind of person. Because, you know, it's not okay. Of course it's not okay. Violence is not okay. I get that. Okay, so, well, it also sounds like perhaps maybe you're struggling with alcohol, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I have a couple of drinks at night. I, I wouldn't say that I struggle with alcohol. Like there aren't enough struggles in this world as it is. Sometimes it's just getting out of bed. That sounds like you're going through a lot. And obviously there's, you know, so many things happening right now. You've had problems with your wife and, you know, problems finding a job, financial. Maybe you're not seeing your kids as much as you'd like. Would you, have you seen them? I try to see them every day. Mm -hmm. I try to see them every day. It gets harder and harder. There's, you know, I'm, I'm working on trying to find a job. And Megs and I are, I mean, I want to patch things up. I just, I try to get there every day so that I'm there when they come home from school and I can be there at least until she gets home from work. So. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. It's great. It's Have not you, really enough, but I'm trying. Maybe it would be helpful or maybe you've been able to speak with somebody about your own well-being, your own health, like have you been able to speak with a doctor or counselor or anybody? I don't know who I would talk to. Mm -hmm. like I, you know, I've, I've, there's nothing wrong with me, so why would I go to my doctor? Okay. You know, I, well, well, you know, if you change your mind, I'm happy to help with referrals. So sometimes, you know, it's it sounds like you said you're struggling a bit and sometimes it's hard to get out of bed, so. Well, I mean. Might be helpful to have Having a bed would be nice. So, where are you living? Um, crashing where I can. I got a couple of people that I know who are letting me bounce around on their sofas. How are you supporting yourself financially now? I work, I worked long and hard and earned getting a little bit of whatever, you know, social support I'm getting, you know, I, I get a check. I don't want it. I don't, I don't like that I'm doing it, but I need something. I, and there's no jobs out there for me. So. Okay. But that's good. So sometimes everybody needs help, right? Doesn't feel very good. Mm hmm. Do you have, uh, if you haven't, you know, spoken with your family doctor or any counselor, do you have social supports that you can what do you, lean on? Or what do you mean social supports? Do you have any friends or family, you know, that I can I haven't talked to my talk family to. in a while. Yeah. We're, we're not, we're not really that close anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I know, I know a few people, like I said, they're letting me, they're putting me up when they can and sort of doing for now, but it's not, I can't say I'm very proud of it. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs help. And, you know, I'm here just to make sure that things are going as well as they can at this time and that your kids are safe and that they're doing well. I want my kids to be safe. I want my kids to be safe. I want my kids to be happy. I, I want us to be a family. It's just so hard right now. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that, you know, on occasion there's been maybe some issues that happen at the home or an issue that happened at the home when you went. Is there anywhere else that you can see your kids outside of the home? So, you know, just until things cool down with you and Margaret? I didn't really know that they had to cool down. I mean, I want to see my kids. If I if I can't see them at home, I, I 
where else do we see them? I, I, scumbag dad that meets his kids in the park. I don't want to be that. Okay. Well, it's it's okay to meet your kids in the park, and it's okay maybe, you know, we could uh, explore different places where you could meet with your kids through I'm, Margaret. I'm trying here. I, I, I'm trying to find work. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I'm trying to get back together with my family, with, with my wife. I, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you're, you're doing, you know, all the things you're supposed to be doing to try to get back on your feet. So that's good. And like I said, I'm here to help if you need um, any other referrals for counseling, but maybe I can speak with your ODSP worker. It sounds like you maybe receive financial assistance from the government. So yeah. can I speak with them? Can you sign this consent? I don't really want to sign anything. I don't really, I don't really still even know who you are. I, like, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here, but if you need to talk to, talk to whoever you want. I, I, I have no control over that. 